In this video, we're going to look at how to convert between metric and imperial units for capacity. Before you watch this video, I'd recommend watching two of our videos, one on metric units for capacity and another on imperial units on, on capacity. And both of those are available on www.corporatemiles.com. Here are two conversion facts which are really useful. One pint is approximately equal to 570 milliliters, and one gallon is approximately equal to 4.5 liters. Obviously the pint and the gallon are the imperial units, the milliliters and liters are the metric units. So, to convert between them, uh, to go from pints to, milli uh, pints to milliliters, you times by 570. So two pints is approximately equal to uh, 1,140 milliliters, that's just timesing by 570, and dividing by 570 would bring you back to pints. And likewise with gallons, to go from gallons to liters, you times by 4.5, and to go back into gallons, you divide by 4.5. So let's have a look at some examples. So the first one says convert three pints into milliliters. So one pint is approximately equal to 570 milliliters. So to go uh, to get what three pints is, you're going to do three times uh, 570. So you're going to times th uh, three by 570. And when you do that, you're going to get three times 500 is 1,500. Three times 70 is 210. So that'll be 1,710 milliliters or 1.71 liters. But it's set into milliliters, so that's it. The next question says, oh, convert three pints into, into liters. Well, we know that three pints is 1,710 milliliters. And remember, there's a thousand milliliters in a liter. So you divide by a thousand and you'd get 1.71 liters. Okay, the next question. Okay, the next question says, convert 2,280 milliliters or 2.28 liters into pints. So you go from milliliters into pints, you divide by 570. So we're gonna do 2280 divided by 570. And when you do that in your calculator or whenever you work that out, you're gonna get that's equal to four. So that means it is four pints. So four pints is equal to 2,280 milliliters or 2.28 liters. Okay, our next question. The next question says convert 10 gallons into liters. So remember one gallon, is approximately equal to 4.5 liters. So to get what 10 gallons is, you're going to times by 4.5. So you're going to do 10 times 4.5, which is equal to 45 liters. So it means that 10 gallons is approximately equal to 45 liters. And our last question. Our last question says convert 65.25 liters into gallons. Well, remember again, one gallon is approximately equal to 4.5 liters. So you go from liters into gallons, you're going to divide by 4.5. So we're gonna do 65.25 divided by 4.5. Whenever you do that, you get that's equal to 65.25 divided by four. 65.25 divided by 4.5 equals 14.5. Gallons. So that means that 14.5 gallons is approximately 65.25 litres.